In this video, I'll be testing this Teton Sports Mountain Ultra 2 person tent not only against moderate rain but heavy rain as well. Before rain testing this Mountain Ultra 2 person tent, I first checked all the seams inside the tent. I found that most of the seams were not taped, like this flooring to mesh seam and also the door seams. Also, the vertical seams running up the tent to the top of the tent were also not taped, but they have been inverted for more durability. But since all these seams are covered by the rainfly, I think it should be okay. The only seams inside the tent that were taped were the seams on the flooring, like these seams running the length of the tent and also the corners of the tent. I also noticed that the widths of this tent have slightly higher bathtub floorings than the lengths of the tent. The bathtub flooring was only about 7 inches for the longer length of the tent, while it was 9.5 inches for the width of the tent. But notice the side with the shorter bathtub flooring has the rainfly pulled away from the tent body more than the side with the longer bathtub flooring, hence the difference in the tub feature. Outside the tent, I also checked the rainfly and found that all the seams were taped. I managed to put this tent through some moderate rain which looked like this. It rained like this for about an hour or so, and after the rain stopped, I found that there were no leaks inside my mountain ultra tent, and the tent was still completely dry. Also, even though I left these two vents at the top open, I found that none of the rainfall got into the tent from these vents. And even though I also didn't stake down the two widths of the tent, the rainfly provided enough rain protection and didn't let water in too. I wanted to also test for heavy rain so I used this water hose on the tent and I tried to spread the rainfall evenly across the entire tent. Because of the angle of the water from the hose, I had to shut the vents at the top of the tent because it was letting in a lot of water into the tent. And also, unlike the moderate rain test before, I decided to stick down the two widths of the tent for more rain protection. The top of the tent is nicely curved so I had no cooling issues with this tent and all the water just dripped off the tent nicely. Notice that the rainfly of this Mountain Ultra 2 person tent doesn't extend all the way to the ground at all four sides of the tent, so you'd get a little ventilation during rainy days. Will it leak though? Let's find out. After one hour of this heavy rain test, I stopped to check in on the tent. Do shake the water off the vestibule first and tie it up. Don't let it sag into the tent or all the water on the vestibule will drip into your tent. Inside the tent, I found that there were no leaks at all. The entire tent was still completely dry. I checked all the corners and the edges of the tent and nothing was wet at all. The bathtub feature was completely dry from the inside and so was the mesh all around the tent. I also checked the rainfly and from the inside it was completely dry as well. Let's lift the rainfly up and take a look at the tent body. Notice that the bathtub feature was more than enough to prevent water getting into the tent. With the rainfly in place over the tent, the rainfly protects the tent really well and notice that most of the rainfall drips straight to the ground without touching the black tent flooring too much. So don't worry about this gap between the rainfly and the ground. Overall, this Mountain Ultra 2 person tent did fantastic in not just the moderate rain test, but the heavy rain test as well. This is because the waterproofing features in this tent are simply incredible. First, the seam taping around the tent, especially on the flooring as well as the corners, are really quite thorough and stop the water from getting into the tent. Second, the rainfly provides almost full coverage protection from the heavy rain. And third, the part of the tent not covered by the rainfly is protected with these tub floors, which keep out rain really well too. The only thing I didn't quite like about this tent is the position of these two top vents. It definitely has to be closed in heavy rain and wind, and unfortunately, it can be accessed only from the outside of the tent. For more details on this rain test as well as the vents on this Mountain Ultra 2 person tent, check out this video right here which is a full review of this tent. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.